Now, we hear a lot about this concept of connection. And I think uh, the idea is that, you know, a lot of golfers, I think, you know, stick something under your arms, hit half a dozen balls, and you've kind of got it. There's a bit more to it than that. Um, and what it really is, within a good swing, you can see that the whole body is actually moving. Everything's coming through together. And connection, a proper connection from the setup actually allows that. So we've talked already about setting the triangle here, and that is the start of it. But get, getting really familiar with the, 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 what's actually happening, it's the shoulders down and arms together. The feeling is that my shoulders can't really drop any lower, and the distance from my chin down to my fingertips is as far as I can get it, and it stays that way. You look closely at a lot of you guys you go out and play with, your friends, and you'll see an awful lot of this. I often think you never see any golfers' necks when they're actually swinging, like so, because everything's, shoulders are up, everything's up here like this. Whereas really, the best players, there's lots of space below their chin. And what then happens, if I can keep this down, keep it all together, and start to turn, you should actually start to feel now that you're, as your arms move and your shoulders turn, your lower half is moving also because it's properly connected. If I just let my arms kind of go, you know, the, the, this is kind of taken over. Nothing's happening here at all. And this is what we see with too many of the handicap golfers, where it's all very much arms and shoulders, which is why they struggle to get into the so-called kind of classic position and follow through. So, so remember, connection really is, it's very specific. There's one other thing at part connection which I'm going to talk about down the line and it's how the wrists hinge properly rather than flopping about very loose on the back swing but we'll come to that but to start with in the setup the arms together shoulders down and just getting familiar with the feeling that or the concept really I suppose that as you're turning there's no lifting of the shoulders this is something else to practice at home just getting more and more familiar with that feeling of turning back and through without any help from up here and I guarantee within a week or two these movements will start to become pretty much second nature and once we start putting a club in your hand which we'll do down the line you see how it then all effect, you know it really will affect the whole swing uh, correctly putting you onto a new level with proper swing mechanics so proper connection shoulders down arms together always staying that way Thank <laughs> you.